This is Luis, he's an asylum seeker. When he came to Belgium a year ago, he applied for asylum. He's just found out that his application has been turned down. Castriot is also an asylum seeker. He's changed his mind, he doesn't like Belgium. He wants to go back to his country, but no longer has any ID. This is Jalput, he's in Belgium illegally. He's fed up with doing underpaid, precarious jobs. Survival conditions are much too hard. Finally, this is Nathalie. She also finds herself illegally in Belgium. She's three months pregnant, classified as a vulnerable person. She misses her family a lot. Given their situation, they all wish to go home, but they can't afford such a trip. However, they're all entitled to receive voluntary return and reintegration assistance. This assistance aims to organize a return trip where the migrant is treated with more dignity. It also seeks to reintegrate migrants who can't or don't want to stay in Belgium and who wish to return to their country of origin. In Belgium, the scheme which organizes voluntary return assistance is called REAB and started in 1984. Federsil finances and oversees the scheme. The IOM implements it in partnership with a network of 65 partners, which are NGOs, local authorities, migrants associations, or reception centers for asylum seekers. Luis is helpless, a turned down asylum seeker who wishes to return to Brazil. Today he's going to see Caritas, one of the 65 partners of the Rehab Network. Luis needs advice and information. This is the first step of the process. It's crucial for him to know all the possibilities in order to organize an informed return to his country. To this effect, the CRI Belgium and Irico 2 projects can help him find up-to-date and reliable information on services available in Brazil in the fields of employment, transport, accommodation, and many others. With Mark's help, Luis chooses for voluntary return. In three weeks, which is the minimum time needed for the paperwork to go through, he'll be able to board a plane for Sao Paulo. The process ensures easy access to anyone interested. A personal approach based on the needs and specific situation of each migrant is the keystone for each interview. The migrant will be able to make a decision with full knowledge of the facts. Jalput is already at the second stage. He's got an appointment this morning at the IOM's Brussels office, which offers help to migrants who wish to return to their home country. But they also have the option of receiving a reintegration assistance package. So when you go back home, you will have to try to reintegrate in India. Huh? This is what Jalpot wants. He wants to set up his own business. This is the reason he's meeting up with Audrey, the IOM advisor. He wants to settle long-term in India and wants to improve living conditions for himself and his family. And then you said that you were interested in uh, micro-business. Yes. Perfect. So I will write it down as well. He and Audrey are discussing his ideas and their feasibilities. They then fill in a form which will be sent to the IOM partner in his country of origin. The practical aspects of the reintegration occupation will be dealt with by the local partners. Caritas and IOM are the only two organizations in Belgium that are able to start the reintegration assistance process. Reintegration assistance is provided in partnership with partners in the country of origin. This local assistance ensures the smooth running of the process. Photo session for Castriot. He's already filled in all the paperwork for his voluntary return and has found a reintegration occupation. Except that to go back home to Macedonia, he needs valid ID and travel documents. He no longer has a passport. The embassy is going to give him a laissez-passer. Hello, my dear, the Castriot Kelmendi, come on, for me, there is a laissez-passer. Hello, Ordo. Hello, Ordo.
Kier Stewart has applied to the embassy himself, thanks to the information given by the IOM on the specific procedure to follow in order to obtain the documents he needs to go back to Macedonia. All costs are covered by the rehab scheme, the same goes for the plane ticket. The IOM does the booking, buys the tickets and liaises with the transport companies. A reinstallation grant is given to some migrants on the departure day at Zaventem Airport. It's meant to cover first expenses once back in their home country. To ensure migrants' privacy and safety, the information is only divulged to the migrants and to the rehab partner. The IOM helps migrants at each stage of the voluntary return. Natalie is returning to Gambia this morning. At Brussels Airport, she's going to be met by Fou, who's a member of the IOM team. All return trips to the country of origin are by air to ensure migrants' safety. The IOM bag is essential for this trip because it enables all IOM staff to recognize Natalie, from the point of departure through any transit country to the destination country. Fo is going to help Natalie with check-in and with the customs and border control. He will also give her money to cover additional transport and luggage costs. Some migrants, such as those with a medical condition, unaccompanied minors, victims of human trafficking, the elderly or pregnant women, are entitled to travel with an accompanying person to the destination airport. Upon arrival in the destination country, the migrant has the possibility of being met by a member of the IOM team. If necessary and where possible, the traveler is offered help with airport checks, including customs and immigration. The IOM also organizes the return to the final destination. Thanks to a reintegration grant, Mamadou has been able to set up a small bodywork repair business. He now employs four people. To achieve this, he contacted the IOM local office within a month of returning to Mali. Together, they made arrangements on how the reintegration grant would be paid, how he would start his reintegration occupation, and on suitable follow-up. Mamadou is now a happy man. Mamadou, Luis, Jalput, Castriot and Natalie. Five people among many others who've chosen the voluntary return and reintegration assistance. Throughout the process, advisors and members of the REAB and IOM network have lent a listening ear to them and have assisted them. Thanks to the REAB partners, counselors and IOM staff, the return of these five migrants took place in the best possible conditions.